Hello and welcome back my friends. Today, I've got yet another gardening strategy to share with you. It's gonna empower you to grow even more of your very own food right in the comfort of your own home. This project is easy to put together, extremely low cost and takes care of itself. The best part is this can be applied in just about any gardening situation, even if you live in an apartment. As long as you got a little balcony with a little sun, you can begin growing more at home as well. Check it out. And all you need is a sandbag, like this UV resistant sandbag I have here, and a simple five gallon bucket. All right, so the first step is gonna be to prepare your sandbag for planting. And I can verify that this particular brand works brilliantly for this design. If you're interested, check the links down below. But what we're gonna do here first is we're gonna fold over the top just two or three times. Just like that. And what this is going to do is create a bit of rigidity for the bag so we can form it into the shape of a pot, making it easier to fill and also so that it better fits into our bucket here. Then all you need to do is fill your sandbag with some quality gardening soil and get it ready for planting by adding in whatever amendments that you choose to add into your pot. So for today's example, I'll be transplanting this pepper plant into our sandbag grow bucket system. Now, as you can see, the soil in the pot of this pepper plant is extremely dry. That's the problem with just growing in a standard pot is that it requires you to manually come out and keep your plants watered. Otherwise, they can perish rather quickly. But you could definitely use the same setup to direct sow your seeds into these pots as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my pepper plant here. And now I'm just gonna add a bit more soil top off the pot. Now all that's left to do is we're gonna add some water to the base of our bucket, filling it up about eight to 10 inches. And that's gonna slowly wick in to our sandbag pot. And during the first fill up, you may wanna also add some water directly into the pot, especially if the soil is very dry. This is just gonna to help to break any surface tension and allow the soil in your sandbag pot to better wick up the moisture that we've just added into the bucket. And that's all there is to it, my friends. That water is gonna slowly absorb into the soil through the porous weave of these sandbags here. And as this occurs, any standing water will disappear in the bucket and become absorbed into the soil. So with this type of a setup, you're not gonna have standing water for long periods of time, which could create habitat for mosquitoes to lay their larva. But rather, you're gonna put that water into the bucket, allow it to soak in to your growing medium and come out a week, week and a half later, depending on your climate, how hot it is, how much sun your plants are getting, and add some more water. And at that point, it's going to be bone dry in there, but there's still gonna be moisture in your soil. So there you have it. You only need to water once a week. It's basically a set it and forget it system. All of the items for this build are extremely cheap. It's a wonderful investment to get you growing more today. Now, if you happen to live in an area that has the potential for heavy rains throughout your growing season, what you're gonna to wanna to do is drill a hole about halfway up the bucket, about a half inch as an overflow drain. That way, if a lot of water enters into your bucket here, once it gets to that certain level, it's just gonna overflow out the side. So keep that in mind. Some of the other benefits is that you can easily move this around. So if you want some more sun, you put it in a sunnier location, you need more shade, you can move it to a shadier location. You can move it in and out of inclement weather as you need. Heck, you could even put a few of these together on the cheap and give them away as gifts. What better gift is there really than a self-contained garden that's gonna help sustain the recipient? And yet another benefit to a system like this is that all of these materials have secondary uses. You can reuse the bucket, you can reuse the sandbag. What do you think, Matilda Jean? Sound like a good idea? Anyway, my friends, if you want more gardening tips like this, be sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you got something out of today's video, or even if you just found it entertaining, be sure to smash the like button. It sure does help us out. So with that, have yourself a great rest of the day. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.